Well, it was nine years ago today that Brisbane Roar against the Central Coast Mariners was the grand final fixture, 50,000. That day witnessed one of the great comebacks of all time. Fast forward to 2020, and both teams are in the rebuilding phase. And safe to say, Brisbane are a little further down the track than the Mariners, who must hope that Friday the 13th brings about a reversal in fortune. Broken up in midfield by Milan Juric, who he really enjoyed watching in the early part of the campaign. And he's threaded one through here for Chris Harold. Save. And Jamie Young made himself big and strong and now gives his teammates a bit of a spray for allowing that gap to open up. Just been looking for the clean sweep tonight. Here's McDonald, barely sighted so far, little back heel. It's Mirza Muratovic. And Ziggy Gordon was well positioned. Kept in play by Clisby. Good turn by Harold. Useful yeah, yeah. ball too. Terrific work by Chris Harold and De Silva's away. He has Lewis Miller outside him. And he has a player left as well. He went for goal. Oh. Young held him up and Jordan Murray could not convert the follow-up. He's claiming a corner. The verdict is goal kick by Ali Reza Fagani. Good save again by Jamie Young. Fantastic save. And we talked about in transition, Mariners are hitting them all the time. And funny enough, it came off Brisbane's best play probably of the half. But a wonderful opportunity here. I'm really sure he should have squared that there to Murray De Silva. But a fantastic save once again by Jamie Young, who's kept the Brisbane in this game. And it's better by the Raw. They've got room again here for Corey Brown on the left. Two waiting in the middle, McDonald's. Oh. And wide it goes. At the end of a good little spell from Brisbane Raw. It was a good save there from Birigetti. For the first half an hour, it was Mariners. He will know that. He'll be mindful of it. Which is why I echo your thoughts, Bozer. I reckon he would have been disappointed they didn't make that early dominance pay in terms of the scoreboard. Here's Brown. Turned back around the corner by Inman. Ratovic holds it up. Brown to readjust it, opens up here. Brad Inman tap in for Scott McDonald, but the flag is up. And McDonald is level. And the roar you can hear in the background from the Brisbane fans is that that has been overruled and the goal will stand. And Scott McDonald has three in a week at this venue. There you go. Shea available, but uh, he's ignored for the high looping cross towards Hingo, which does find its mark. Jabbed back by McDonald's, Neville, Hingo. It's good from Brisbane. O'Shea, McDonald, are the words it beautifully, oh, and Muratovic super play. just couldn't hit the target. Absolutely super play. If you want a little snapshot of what Brisbane and, and Robbie Fowler have been trying to do with this side and Tony Grant, that was it. Brisbane have the ball right where they want it. And there victory is confirmed, Alan Stajic. Looks hugely frustrated, understandably so. They finished strongly the Central Coast, but in the end, Scott McDonald's first half stoppage time goal, which uh, needed an overrule from VAR, proves to be the difference in a very tight game at Suncorp. There's no smile on the face of Robbie Fowler, but they get the job done. Brisbane Raw march on, back-to-back -back home wins as they move up to fourth place on the ladder for 24 hours at least their highest position of the campaign so far.